Welcome to the Lady Show, and today I present to you guys Baddie Therapy. And I got a few baddies here with me today. I have Miss Asia Wasia. Hey, everybody. I'm and drunk. <laughs> Already feeling the therapy. And then I have Miss Big Breesky. Hey, y'all. The brown, brown skin. skin. Honey bun. There you go. <laughs> the brown skin honey bun. And today we are having Baddie Therapy. At the Emerald City Nail Bar. I want to make sure you guys go ahead and use the promo code Big Liddy, Big Liddy, and you'll receive a $10 off any service. Go ahead and check out their website at ecnbla.com. Now, let's get to it. Can I get can I get my um my body therapy ladies Period. here, please? Shout out, shout out the bracelets from Emerald Period. City. Hey everyone, this is Pedicure Princess Raven. And we're here at Emerald City. Um, this is Lola. She's going to introduce herself. Grip is by Lola. All hand painted art, acrylic, hard gel, you name it. Well, we're nail, we're nail techs. We're black. We're black owned industry. So um, just come and support us at Emerald City. And we'll love to come and take you. Come and do your feet. Come and do your nails. Um, and yeah, let's have a good time. And yes, we are honoring Black History Month. But we celebrate it every day, right? Yeah. Yeah? We do. Yeah, no driving white black? <laughs> no driving white black. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're going to go ahead and get you guys started today. We got, we got you guys some nice pedicures, you know. Relax yourselves. Free your mind. You ready to do that? I'm ready. I'm ready. No arguing. Y'all not locked in a house. With 20 girls. Yeah, Mean Girls wasn't like that. No? Mm -mm. So, I mean, we had fights, but I, say, like, I feel like we was a family for real. Like, everybody else liked me besides, you know? And at the end, Raj and Bala ended up sleeping in my room. Like, we ended up liking each other. It was more so, like, we fought, but we was, like, sisters. Like, Isaiah cried after the end of Mean Girls. Aww. Like, he was like, I love y'all. Like, I never felt like this for any of my cat. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was real personal. Like, we... That's what he said. That's what he said? That's what he He's said. such a mess. He's such a fake bug. <laughs> oh, my God. Isaiah is... But, yeah, I felt like we was, like, a sisterhood. Like, we still communicate. I still communicate with mostly all the girls to this day. That's, that's dope. Yeah, that's really that's dope. That's dope. So, just to... You guys can start doing their feet now, too. You guys come in the camera and do their feet. So... I'm gonna start with you. Mm -hmm. So before we get into all of the the Mean Girls drama, the Mean Girls saga, I need to know like where are you from? Um, I'm from Washington State. <laughs> I'm from Washington State. Um, I moved to Vegas when I was ten, so that's where I live predominantly. But yeah, I'm from Washington. Okay. And how do you like Vegas? I love Vegas. I really love Vegas. I feel like it's a fast pace. I'm from like a small, tiny city like farm like a lot of there's not a lot of people there like six thousand people it's very slow uh farm life and like yeah everybody is just the same so vegas is like a, a big change so when you say farm life like you were like like raising chickens and milking cows no but the agri it's like an agriculture town like you know what i mean mm -hmm. i wasn't doing it personally but everywhere around me is like farms cows it's pretty boring, pretty lame. We just got a Popeyes last year in that town. Don't have a Chick Fil A. We just had Mima here too. Popeyes, that's a big deal. Yeah, they do not Popeyes have that. Popeyes is a big deal. They do not have that. Popeyes nowhere. is a big deal. And I be traveling too. That's crazy. No Popeyes. Like I don't know what I would do if I couldn't get a two piece and a biscuit when I wanted it. Man, I used to, have to drive three hours to get one, and I would do it. You would drive three hours mm -hmm. to Popeyes? Yeah. Oh, Popeyes. So would you have fought over some Popeyes too? Uh-uh. No finger. <laughs> no. You wouldn't have fought over Never. it? Never. No? Uh-uh. Okay, okay. No shade, no shade. Love you, Mima, no shade. <laughs> so so you would you would say like you were a you you were raised a country girl, but then you moved to the big city. Yeah, kinda like suburban too. Like my grandpa had a big house. You know okay. So I was like very like when I moved to Vegas, I didn't know how to dance. I didn't know how to do nothing. Like, I didn't even know I was black. Like, I didn't know nothing about nothing. So, moving to Vegas, I kind of like, you know. So, would you say in Washington you were more sheltered? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Everybody know everybody. 
any like if they see me walking on the street, somebody the neighbors gonna call my mom, you know, like stuff like that. Okay, so with that being said, you had like a, a semi shelter life, then you moved to the big fit, the big city, mm -hmm. and now you fast. I'm fast. Yeah, I'm fast. How you going? <laughs> fast and feisty. Fast and feisty. I know. I don't. I think I'm also little too. Mm -hmm. So that's why I got like little people complex. Like I, I don't get mad. I get angry. Like I get furious. Like you. Like mm -hmm. a little some set me off, and it's just like how people are mad and shit. No, I'm gonna take it there. I'm gonna take it there. So it's hard for you to let things go. It's really hard for me to let things go. Yeah. What's my feelings? Like I feel like. Like, if you being weird to me, like, why are you being weird to me? Right. I feel that. I feel that. I hate that. Yeah. I hate that. Especially when you're trying to get to know somebody and then they just switch the tempo on you. Yeah. And that's, yeah, that's how I felt on the show. That's how you felt on the show. Yeah. So, how did you get casted for Mean Girls? So, Drea, so, Drea already had a partner. And her partner, when they was doing the lives for, you know, the Mean Girls and, the auditions as he was getting picked, her partner wasn't there. So she had to call her up and like, hey, can you get on this live at this time? I was at Drea's house at that time. Mm -hmm. So when she went live, she actually put me in the camera. And as soon as they see me, he was like, nah, her, cast her, we want her, we want Asia. I'm already like known, I have a following, I do music. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've been viral multiple times. So everybody I know. in the comments. <laughs> I seen that. Everybody <laughs> in the comments was like, Asia, Asia. So he was like, yeah, cast her, yeah. So you would say it was a blessing. It was a blessing, and you know, Drea, she she cool, like you know, she cool. She gave, basically I got the opportunity because her. Shout out to Drea. Shout out to Drea. That's good when you have friends that ain't um, what's the word I'm looking for? When you have friends who are willing to share the spotlight with you and share opportunity with you, those are the type of people that you keep around. Mm -hmm. Like you know, because we we as black women, we get a lot of hate already. So when we hate on each other and trying to bring each other down, it's it's really no good for nobody. So it's good that you had a duo like that of somebody trying to like put yeah. you in position. I hate the word put on, but put in position. I mean, she did. I, I only knew Drea before Bean Girls for like two, three months. Oh wow. I didn't really know her like that, but when we met, she showed me like she let me stay at her house. I'm not. I don't even live in LA, so every time I go to LA, I could stay there. She doing podcasts. They paying hundred dollars for a podcast. You could come. She put me onto her club, like, just put me on the money, yeah. Yeah, one thing about Dre, I've, I've been able to network with her. And one thing about her, like, she wants to get to it. She mm -hmm. wants to work, and she's not a hater. She's not a hater at all. I love that about her. So, back into you, though. So, would you, would you say, like, you have an anger problem? Um, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I would say, um, y'all got to watch me and girls, but me and Dre end up getting into it real bad. Don't don't tell too much of the show. You know I'm not, but we you know because I I get mad quick. I have a short temper, and then after I realize like oh okay, my bad, maybe it's me. But you do realize it though after a while. After it happens, but during the time I'm I don't care about none of that. Right. Yeah, I don't care about nothing. A lot of the um supporters that when I posted you, a lot of the supporters I told you when you walked in, they mm -hmm. are mad you're here, you know, and. I talk to the supporters sometimes, like, the ones that, like, look like they have some sense. Like, I'll, like, have a conversation with them just to just to see, like, okay, what's the problem? Like, why is it a problem? And they feel like you wouldn't let it go. Like, you were so mad that you weren't a line leader. No. It's not happening. So, before we even go on the show, I get a call from Dre, and she, like, I'm not going to say who, but she, like, you know, so-and-so production they want us to trip with ttg you know drea very headstrong she like nah we're not gonna do that like even if they trip with us we're gonna trip with them but we're gonna feel everybody vibe about first before we go so i'm like okay cool we're not gonna we're not gonna trip with them so we get there everybody fucks with us everybody fuck with us even ttg at first he was laughing all type of shit production tells us to go in the front of the line to do the intro shoot because you know the intro shoot is in the school mm -hmm. Soon as we get in the front of the line, ball out, start chipping. We were here first, da 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 da. My mouth is bad. Like, win, lose, or draw, I fight. I don't give a fuck about lose, I fight. I don't give a fuck. I'm not like a heavyweight champion in the world, but I fight. So, ball out, we in the front of the line. I was trying to be nice at first. I'm sorry they told us to, co to come up here. She said, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Bitch, I don't give a fuck about you. 
So then that's when Raj got involved, and that's when the whole situation happened. So that's what made me feel like it was it was set up, it was staged. And if y'all wanted to be like that, because mind you, there's only people that tripped. Mm -hmm. If y'all wanted to be like that, I'm gonna take it there. Y'all want to show, so I'm gonna I'm give it to you. Cause that's what you that's what y'all wanted. Y'all mm -hmm. mad over a line? It, it got to be deeper than that, or it's somebody telling y'all to do that. So I tripped. So that's why you couldn't let it go I because could, you felt like it was more of an underlining issue. I felt like. In the moment, you bitches is weird. Everybody else was in the back in line. Nobody else said anything. Nobody else was like, Asia, get back in line, you cut. And nobody else gave a fuck but them. So do you feel like they were jealous because you guys were in the front of the line or somebody told them to trip with you? I don't know. That's something I'll never know for. I really don't know. But I know that that sparked everything that happened to me, girls. Mm -hmm. Everything. I ain't gonna lie, no shade. I was there, like I was peeking in the principal classroom. I seen this shit go down, but I, I, I didn't hear nobody say like, "Oh, go trip with them" or nothing like that. So when y'all started fighting, I was just like, "What the fuck?" Like, I mean, but you off? didn't hear that, but just like, Dre, Dre told me before the show, she got a call. Like you feel me? Mm -hmm. So she called me out before filming, before the show started, like I think a week before. Mm -hmm. So it's you never know. You know, you never know. You never know. You never know. But yeah, I felt like everybody in the house fuck with me. Everybody in the house fuck with me. It's to this day. Everybody in the house fuck with me. Besides them. Because the line. That shit to me is just insane. So that's why I was so mad. Like, I'm, nigga, I'm tripping. You, like, you bitches weird. I'm mad. So, I know you mentioned you said that, like, you know, now, like, not now, but in the house you guys got cool. How are you with that duo now? Like, are you guys okay? Has there been any communication? Um... So we was cool after the show. Like, you know, we was a sisterhood. So we all was like, when the show come out, we ain't going to let none of this tear us apart. Whatever the comments say, whatever they say, don't let it get to y'all head. We, we still fuck with y'all, da, da, da. I ended up getting a call. Mind you, I live in Vegas. They from uh, the Bay. I ended up getting a call. No, I'm, I'm going live on Thanksgiving. I'm going live. Somebody commented, like, you fought Raj? I'm like, huh? Because mind you, nothing from that show was leaked anytime. So I'm like, DM her. I'm like, huh? This is my homegirl from Vegas. She's like, yeah. My homegirl from the Bay said that um, you and Raj fine and Raj going to sneak you at the reunion. So I'm drunk. I drink. So I'm drunk on Thanksgiving. I text the group chat. Raj, you said you was going to do what? To who? So that in a sparking events, because she's like, um, I didn't say that. But now since you think I did, I'm going to do it. You did say that. Because you saw you too quick to jump. You did say that. To me, I feel like you said it. So then I call her. Mind you, I'm drunk. I call her. I'm like, did you say? Like, you feel me? Mind you, I'm drunk. My delivery don't give a fuck. No, bitch, but now we gonna fight and you're disrespectful and this, that, and the third. Like, you know what I mean? So I just feel like you did say that. And me and Bala, I was supposed to be still cool. I Recently, she just unfollowed me. But I don't give a fuck about none of that follow shit. I still follow Raj and Bala. So when she unfollowed you, did you say anything to her or you just let it go? When she unfollowed me, I didn't say shit. I didn't. What am I supposed to say? Why you unfollow me? Right. You don't like me for whatever reason. We were just cool. You telling people that you want to fight me. And I heard this is a reliable source. Like, this is you and this bitch share cousins. You mm -hmm. feel me? So this is like you probably can off to the cousin, talking to the cousin. And you feel me? They relate the message to me. And yeah. So I know you guys' show is not over yet. But when it comes to the reunion, you you just on that timing? Of course, like if she on that timing, I'm finna be on that timing. I'm not going. I have to be like you feel mm -hmm. me. Like if she wanna fight me, then we gonna fight. I done fought her, twelve, thirteen times. Wow. Fourteen, fifteen is not shit. Y'all was fighting, fighting. We fought, fought a lot, and then we got back cool. That's why I was shipping. Like we cool. We done hugged it out. Uh, slept in my bed. Slept by me. All type of shit. Y'all was cuddling. We wasn't cuddling. No, it wasn't cuddling. No, okay. No. I was just asking. Was <laughs> I just had to ask. I just had to ask. So, how would you rate like your your whole like um, reality TV experience? Uh, a ten. A ten. Yeah, I love Isaiah. I love Me Girls. Oh, it's a new show that he did. I like that it's about you know. I feel like a lot of the fans are mad or feel like it's boring because we're not. It's not South Central baddies. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So I feel like a lot of the fans are like it's boring, but. We different. We mean girls. You know what I mean? Right. Um, I know. I see a lot of fans. They have, like, you know, their... What's the word I'm looking for? They 
They say it's boring. I have seen that. I mean, I watch it, but I, I don't feel like it's boring. I don't. I feel like uh, you guys did what a show was, was, was supposed to mm-hmm. do. You guys actually tried to have fun. See, when you say, like, oh, it's not South Central Baddies, South Central Baddies, Bree, what did we do? Shit, we fought. We didn't be cool. We wasn't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what it is. Like, we woke up, we seen each other, was bored, and we fought. Right. That's it. So, y'all, and y'all had a nice-ass house, too. We Bri, did. Two, two nice-ass houses. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. y'all did it, like, that's what I'm saying. He's starting to get his shows and his character, like, better and shit. Mm-hmm. So, it's, like, better. But it's, like, South Central Baddies is always going to be the house that, like, you come in. And they don't play. Yeah, like, that's just going to be that. Because, yeah. you know, Mean Girls is a whole different definition. It's a whole and different vibe. Yeah, he did it right. And he did bitches it right, Bitches were there too. complaining about, like, I don't want to fight no more. For real. Bitches was in there like, I don't want to fight no more. So, what was I? I was complaining. I didn't, didn't want to fight. I was screaming yeah, through South I mean, Central Baddies. I don't want to fight it you. It really on who you fight. Real and shit. Just who nah, I know. Bala was over yeah. it. She was like, I want to drink. She kept saying that. I want to drink. I'm sick of fighting. Yeah, the house is always 50-50. The it's always is, some people that want to be right. cool and some people that want to fight. Yeah. Like, it's going to be like that. So, and since it's not your show, it's, you're going to have to deal with whatever. Whatever come go with it. On yeah. with it. If you're going to have to fight today, you're going to have to fight today. Man. Cool today, cool an hour. See, we be cool in 30. It's, it's, it's minutes in the house for us. It's not even hours. Like, we're doing something every hour. There's a fight every hour. We're locked in every hour. Like, Sheesh. type shit. So. Yeah, because South Central Baddies, we, what you guys had, we did not have. Bree, I walked in a house, girl. They had, like, two or three hairstylists. M- bitches was walking in with makeup and shit. I'm like, they wait, what's up with way better than ours. We had a they had two. Like, they had an intro photo shoot at one location. Then they had another day. They had another photo mm-hmm. shoot. Like, I'm sitting here crying about makeup artists with black eyes and shit. Right, and they got, like, faces. Yeah. Like, I you had know, a black eye. And I still got it together. Yeah, I just, I honestly feel like... Um, a few of them, like, well, when I talked to them, I felt like they understood, you feel me? But I would just hate it to you guys, to see you guys, like, be ungrateful. Because, no shade, I don't care what nobody say, South Central Baddies is one of the top shows on Out S T V. The top. No, for real. Even though it got his little bullshit, but... But it's the top show. One thing you gonna get out of this is some exposure. Definitely. If you don't get nothing else, you gonna... Get some exposure. That's one thing I can say and guarantee you for sure, especially if, you know, keeping up with yourself and entertaining your fans and, you know, doing what you do. Yeah, I'm like, like I, I don't even watch it like that. And I already, I recognize you when I seen, when I yeah, first seen Yeah, I don't even watch you. a lot of that stuff no when more. When I first seen you and talked to you, I was telling Andrea, like, who is that? She looked familiar. It was like, she's on Touch the Baddies. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm thinking I know you or something. Like, no, I don't even know you. Yes, the star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um... Outside of, okay, well, now we can add reality TV star to your resume. Mm -hmm. Because, baby, you are a star. Thank you. Um, What else do you do? I do music. Um, I'm an entrepreneur. I get money. Period. I get money. That's really the gist of it is I get it back. Yeah. Do you plan on dropping any music during your season? I do. I've been working on a couple things as far as music, but... Right now, I'm just focused on, like, just getting myself out there. My social media has been, like, going crazy ever since Mean Girls dropped. I, I think it's it's time for a song. I encourage it. It's I encourage it. When we get on these platforms, a lot of these girls, they think, like, oh, I got to keep fighting. 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 Fighting is only going to get you so much. Like, it's only going to get you so where unless you're about to be, like, a professional MMA or a boxer or something mm-hmm. like that. But it's good to utilize this platform to do other things, like the Liddy Show. No shade. <laughs> but it's good to, you know, use a platform to do other things because you're, you're going to be successful at whatever it is you do because you have the all eyes on you. Right. I feel, I feel like even though, like, a lot of the supporters, they feel like, oh, she was fighting too much or she was doing this or she wouldn't let go or she wouldn't do this. Guess what? When I posted you, they all knew who you were. Mm-hmm. Whether they liked you or they hated you. They all, yeah. They all knew who you were. So... With the the supporters, like, you know, constantly, because I know they be trolling you. They do. I, I went over and peeked at your page. Mm-hmm. You they feel do. me? They be trolling you. Um, 
Do you have this like attitude where it's like you just don't care? I don't. You don't? I done been viral so many times before. Now that's TV. I done dealt with people talking shit. It's so many bitches that don't like me. It's so much things that I have to go through on social media and shit. I, I don't. You I don't, don't care. Give a fuck. It I don't really affect, affect you it at really all. It don't affect me at all. I feel like. That's one thing I tell my mom too, cause my mom be in the comments bad. I be have to tell her get out them comments. Cause Your be, mama be in. The, she was on the comments today on the lady. Oh, she was on the comments. You, mama, you, you liked her comment. I did. Man. Oh my gosh, mama. Hey mom, please stay off the comments because <laughs> I told my mom if I catch her in the comments, I'm blocking her on every social somebody media. Somebody said. Somebody said Asian her mom is delusional. <laughs> Tell her stay out the fucking. It's a, it's a lot of South Central Baddie moms that be oh, out right. there trying. Like no say when I first started South Central Baddies, you know my mama was trying to get in the mess and I wiped her out fast. Like look, we're not about to do that because. That's how I'm talking about. She want to go to the reunion. I'm like, you cannot go. If you see me swing and fall to the ground one time, you're gonna be up on that stage. You don't want to fight fighting your mama. Out. You don't want to fight your mama. That's what I'm saying. We all gonna get kicked out. No check. No nothing. 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 You're going to have to steal a camera on your way out and go pawn it. That's what you're going to have to do because they're not going <laughs> to give you nothing. But I was telling her, like, all publicity is good publicity. Like, I don't, you feel me? They know my name. They know who I am. I think I should make a show called, like, South Central Mamas or something like that. Mom was talking about it because she wanted to be on the show so bad. She Your mama like, want to get on the show? She, I need to put her was, on the show. She was telling me. She was like, contact them people. Tell them, put everybody moms. I've been thinking about it, but, you know, some people mamas want me, too, so I'm just trying to, you know, but I've been thinking about it because these mamas, they do not play about their babies. They do not play. They, I know that'll go down. It'll go down. It'll definitely go down. It'll be funny, too. Girl, South Central grannies. <laughs> South Central grannies. Yeah. It'll go up. It'll definitely go up. So... You not you not mentally affected by nothing. You you a one. You just waiting. Mm -mm, I don't care. I really don't. Because at the end of the day, like we doing this shit for clout. What is we on TV for? Honestly, people, I'm people, on. I'm on TV to for the night platform. No, you on TV because you want clout. You want you getting a check, but mm -hmm. you want clout. Like let's be honest. Let's be real. So at the end, of the day, I don't give a fuck. I really don't. Like I, and I feel like the comments is biased. Like you feel me? It's they people. Are. It's people that. Don't like me for whatever reason, but I, I get, I promise, I get at least 20 DMs a day telling me I'm their favorite mean girl. They love me. They want me on uh, Young and Reckless. They want me on Deja Vu. I got a fan page right now. It was Ivory fan page. He switched his name to Avery Times, um, Asia Times Ivory. Period. I feel like you should uh, definitely be on season two of Young and Reckless. Ferrari, baby, if you watching, we need Asia Asia on. on season two of Young and Reckless. In, we definitely need her on season two. I think you'll fit there. I love Ferrari. You pretty. You young. You reckless. Mm -hmm. You don't care. Don't. You're going to keep popping your shit. I, I could definitely see you there. I could definitely see you there. So... What are your what are your goals like? Like you just said, everybody wants clout. What do what do you want from this? I want to be successful just in whatever I do. Like I said, I do music. I want to continue doing that. I want to be an entrepreneur. I really do. Like I want to be, I want to be an influencer. Mm -hmm. Like that's my biggest goal. I already got brands, you know, sending me wigs and doing clothes and all type of shit. I got shout out to Celebs Club. They are big right now trying to help me, like, you know, wear their stuff and promote their stuff and photo shoots and all that stuff. Um, that's what I want to do. You know, I'm pretty. Why not? It's, yes. You know, it's a lot of pretty bitches doing, doing, yeah, why, why can't I? You can. Yeah, exactly. You can. Exactly. We are black women. We can do whatever we want. Black women can make anything. We can do anything. So you're going to get everything that you want because that's what you want. Mm-hmm. Like, I really believe in manifestation. I feel like if I can sit here and I can say, I want this, I'm going to get that. Right. That's how I feel, too. I promise. It'd be, it'd be a lot of times where I just, you know, like, I need $10,000. Or I need this, I need that. And then a couple of days later, boom, it happened. Or something, like, you know, something will happen where, oh, somebody got something for me. Or somebody finna send me something to promote or you know, it's manifestation. Work, yeah. work, work, work. It's all you got to do. Work, work, work. And it's just going to come. Yeah. So, how's your love life? My love life, 
Um, I don't really do relationships. Not gonna lie. Um, I don't really get like emotionally invested in niggas. I I like to have sex. I like to, you know, I like to have sex. I like to be around a nigga for a certain period of time. But sometimes I just get like, you know, you want you want a nigga to get out your face. Like I got something to do. Like you're annoying or any of that. I just can't be like around all the time. And I'm feel like I'm emotionally unavailable right now to be in a relationship with anybody, and that's fine. Like you know, it's okay. That's fair. Uh huh. That's fair. I get it. Trust me, I get it. Literally. <laughs> Brisky, we but ain't even gonna get on you that's yet. One thing. <laughs> That's one thing that was a big topic that. on Mean Girls that I was just talking about how I be fucking. And it's not because I do. I'm very honest about my sex life. I'm very honest about shit that I do. Like, I I hate an innocent ass bitch. I like they don't do shit. So I, would you consider yourself a nympho? No, not a nympho. But I am very vocal about just, like, regular shit. Like, human shit. Like, fucking is what we all do. Like, I be fucking. You Who should knows? come out. You know what you should do? What? I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to give you... A million dollar plan right now. Let me since know. you since you talking on TV about sex and stuff, you need to come up with your own sex toys, baby. The Asia Wasia Rose. I could. You I feel could. me? Yeah, I could. Come out with a long dildo like that big. <laughs> Jesus. You feel me? I could. And entice them a little bit. Do something different. Razzle and dazzle them up. Right. Cause once again, we on this platform. And we're projecting ourselves. We already letting them in our lives. Mm -hmm. We already letting them in our business. We already being transparent. Give them what they want. Give them what sex they want. Boy. Yes. Because <laughs> sex is therapy, right? I mean, yeah. Sex, Do you I think mean, sex is therapy, Bree? It, it could be therapy. therapy. It's very. It's definitely therapeutic. It's, it's yeah. therapeutic. It's therapeutic. And then after that, I just be like, get away from me. After yeah. that, where's the money at? <laughs> yeah. Where's the money at? Yeah, and get away. Yeah. I gotcha. Get away. Period. So, I'm going to let you go ahead and, and, and finish, you know, getting your little stuff. I'm about to switch lanes to Miss Brisky. I'm about to switch lanes to Miss Brisky real quick. Miss Spicy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hmm. Hello. You glowing. Always. Yeah. yeah that's brown skin honey bun for you. Yeah, so Always. brown brown skin honey bun. I got a oven. Um, what is it? A, a baby bacon in the oven. Yeah. So I want to know this. <laughs> oh. I want to know this. When you found out you were pregnant, were you happy? Did you cry? No, I didn't cry at that. At that moment, I didn't cry. I was just more of like breathing. Like just you pregnant. Like I was like, this is my thing. Okay, so when I was younger, I always like I never cared no don't get me wrong, I care about my baby. But I never cared about the baby. I always just wanted the stomach. So I'll just play, you know, like, okay, now I got a stomach, you know, whatever, whatever. So when I like found out I was pregnant, I'm like we can't play stomach no more, you know? We, like, can't, we can't play stomach no more. No more like, playing house. Yeah, this no more. You know, like, this is real life. So I was just like, you know, my family, my dad, he's very older. So by him knowing I was gay, he always just was like, one thing I want you to do is just give me a grandchild. Like, Aww. one thing. So I'm like, my family ain't going to, you know, they. I'm going to tell them. And I'm grown. So it's like, they're going to just be happy for me. Mm -hmm. So after a couple of days... Then I started, like, I'm like, then I just cry. Like, I'm just like, is this what's supposed to happen? Like, you're supposed to cry after, like, a little bit? So I started calling my best friend. She's like, yeah, like, it's just a whole lot of emotions and stuff like that. So I just cried. I'm like, because I'm the type of person, I start to, like, learn myself and express myself. And since I express myself by myself, it's like, if I'm going to cry, I might as well just cry. Because once I cry, I'm going to be turned. Like, <laughs> I promise you, I'm going to cry. I'll be like, okay, music. Let me do something, you know, extra. But if I don't cry and get it all out, I would kind of be, like, thinking about it all day. And it's kind of going, like, get to me type shit. So I definitely was just happy everywhere. Didn't At that point, didn't care about what nobody said. And it was just like, hey, I know people don't be telling everybody, you know, when they early. But I don't care to tell y'all shit. I'm going to have it regardless. That's Y'all don't want to have y'all, baby. That's y'all. But me, I'm going to tell y'all, I want y'all to be in experience with me. And, you know, because I am, like... I look at myself, I really am the youngest one on South Central. Yes, Valley, you so are. That's ever been. How old are you? I'm 20. 
Oh. Yes, but she it's started like, when she was sixteen. Yeah, so everybody has always been <laughs> two, three up. years. Yeah, of uh, uh, you know up. So just to be like, okay, everybody else, I see everybody else with their kids arguing about their kids. You know, all type of shit. I'm the one like, okay, I'm the one having a baby now. Like I'm twenty. Like you know, everybody has watched me be on TV since I was like this young. So it's just like I don't know. That's why everybody just kind of like more happy because they just like, damn, Bree was just a baby. It's a baby, having, having, a baby. having a baby. Yeah, like, so it's a baby having a baby. So I'm just here happy. So you're bringing a child into this world. That's a big thing. And it is. It's a big thing. Are you mentally prepared for that? Yeah, definitely. Like, I don't even know how I kind of to explain it because it's like I make sure myself is good. I always have. And outside of this, I'm a kid's person. Like, I love kids. I always got kids. So... It just was never my own. So to have my own, I'm, you know, okay, I'm about to have a kid every day. I can't, you know, get get this motherfucker. Like, right. you know, but I don't be bothered. Like, I don't do nothing in my life to where I have to want to, you know, not want a kid. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I just wasn't thinking about a kid. So it's just like, okay, now I have a kid. Now we're going to go from here. So That's you do that. know a lot of little kids look up to you, including my daughter. Yeah. And my niece. They yeah. be, they... They they seen you get on the live and couldn't wait to brown skin honey right. bun it up. Love your- <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't wait to do it. Shout out to Riot. But would you like like I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to formulate this question for you? Like you like you said you a baby having a baby, uh-huh. and it's it's other babies watching you. Right. I want you to give them some advice. My advice to y'all is go with y'all flow. You know, don't go with what everybody goes to. Because it's been times where it's like, it's been everybody pregnant and I was still not pregnant. Like, you know, just wait until, not even just pregnant, but just wait until you're ready for anything that you want to do. Don't do it when they want to do it or when somebody tell you to do it. So that's what I'll just say to that. Because it's like, it's you know, it's only so much you can tell a person. Right. Do you feel like you were forced to grow up fast? No. I do feel like, okay. I don't feel like I was forced to grow up fast. I feel like that was just me. I feel like my brother being, okay, my brother, I have a brother. And he's 10 years older than me. So my mother always had me and him like this. It was just always like this. So he always had his friends, you know, older stuff. But I always just was the type of person that my, my, my age crowd was just too young for me. Like, mm-hmm. the mindset, I was always just, like, a head of... Just you have an old soul. Yeah, and by my parents being older, I just... It grew on me, like, okay, this is what you got to do, you know, this, this, this. And then I have a little sister as well, so it just, like, like I said, it just grew on me. I didn't really... Wasn't forced, because I could have lived, you know, as... You know, I'm not going to say my life, I lived it too fast, but I could have I lived it slower, but I would still be... You know, in the same, you know, we still all got to live the same. We got to right. all learn the same thing. So eventually, whether I learned it slower or faster, I still be at the same point that I am at now, regardless of the fact, you know, because life is life and you get older and you have to handle your business regardless. I just handle mine a little faster. That's it. So after the baby, are are we going to get Breesky back on TV? Yes. Breesky is going to be back on TV. Breesky can be on y'all screens as for, you know, anything that has to do with positivity. Now, TV, they asked for me to be on TV because, well, when am I going to be on TV? Because every show is about fighting. I could be on TV. I could be on any other show that, you know, whatever they're doing, like I'm doing here. If y'all want me to come on y'all screens and promote myself or just pop up or do whatever, I'll definitely do that. But as for, you know, trying to stay on my business, I can't do that with y'all. I'm happy you said that you ain't fighting pregnant. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy you said that. Protect Wait, can I that ask baby. a question? Yes, yeah. you can. How many shows you been on? So I just I've been on South Central Baddies. I've been on Baddies of Florida and then Baddies of Las Vegas. So but how much like do you net like how much you get paid? Okay, so here we go. I'm nosy. Here okay. we go. I need to know. I'm not gonna speak on my you know my paycheck, but what I will say is that during the times of me filming, I get promoted to do stuff. As mm-hmm. for example, me and Liddy has been on a trip to Philly, and we have got hair done and. All type of stuff. So a black lot of the, trucks. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. black trucks. So a lot of the stuff kind of comes with money, and then a lot of comes because a lot of stuff comes with experience yeah. as well. 
So you'll get a lot of experiences, and then in the making of that, you can make money. So we went out there. We had a club section. We like, y'all want to come out, pay $20 to be in our section. Like, okay. you just make your own yeah. money, you know, so, way that you want to. So you don't really put a price on the TV set. They do. When you go on the shows, that's their price. But when you, you can make your money as well. I go on these shows, cash apps for my close friends, mm -hmm. cash apps for this. I'm making more faster than what they're about to give me in 30 days. So, you know, you just don't. It's just... It just varies from how you create and how you use your fan base and supporters. And okay, stuff. I'm just nosy because Isaiah said. Yeah, no, I understand. Know. Yeah, you coming into the TV. Yeah, they. What he to say? Just... What Isaiah say? Basically, like you get two bands every show that you do. You oh get no, two I, bands got paid, more. I got paid. I got paid more than that. No, so this is the that. thing. Come <laughs> on. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Listen, no. That's what I was the, told. No, no, yeah, no. Come on told. TV. <laughs> As for South Central Baddies, I got a you deposit a first. Yes. Okay. So you you on you on your Zeus Network shit? You getting deposits? No. no it's uh -uh, not, I'm it's, on my it's Liddy more, shit. Yeah, it's more like um when it comes down to when you be on the TV for they start to your you, it's it more like your okay, reputation. I have a name, yeah, yeah. A name for myself. So yeah, you coming on TV? They're not gonna give you this much because it go like it go it. How can I explain it? How can I explain it, Liddy? Like so basically, it depends on your popularity with the network. Right. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Like that's that's just how we figure it and how we see it. Mm -hmm. Because I know certain girls, I ain't gonna say their names, but I know certain girls that'll get this amount of money, but I'm more viral than them. So I'll and they get this more. So I right. get what I'm saying. So that's where that's where it lies at. But everybody do come in and get fifteen hundred max. That's what you that's what I was getting. Well when I first came on TV, we wasn't even paying. I was on there for his season, season one, and we were just starting off. Season three, I did not get paid either. I signed a contract for exposure and I was okay with that. I didn't have no problem with that. But for the reunion I got my check. I got yeah, a like check at the reunion. You have to certain stuff. Like, that's why I say it just really depends. And they, you have to know how this shit goes so you able to know how to make your money and how to manage your money. Because they'll be like, okay, you get a thousand. Your roommate, they got two thousand. Yeah. You know, and then you can't, you already signed the paper. So that's how they're taking it. That's what it is. Now you got to try out the next time type shit. But the next show, like, with probably Young and Regulars, probably charge three thousand. Like, it just, you know, it just you it have don't to matter. negotiate. Yeah. You have to, yeah, definitely. You that's why I'm asking because I'm only getting twenty five hundred. But when I talk to people that has been on the show before me, mm -hmm. they like that's a lot. But to me, that ain't shit. Right. No, that is that actually for you be doing. See, look, this is what I be saying about you spoiled mean girl bitches. <laughs> First of all, season three, I didn't get paid. I didn't get paid for the season, but for the reunion, I got paid. You get what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And yeah, you the first person I heard that got that much. That, that's what I'm show. saying. Like really? that. That's yeah. the first that's what the contract said. That that's the first time I heard that somebody when it coming on to now that TV being your first time. So just know that it's, it's the, the favoritism. It's, yeah. So it's if, favoritism. if that was your check, just know it's gonna get bigger. For okay. You. you know it shouldn't get no lesser than you, but it only depends on you. You know, at right. the end of the day. So that's good though. That's yeah, good that though. Is good. That was good. I ain't gonna lie. That's I good. mean, talking to us, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Promise you. That's good. I mean, Because sometimes I'll be feeling like Ivory be getting 10K. The way she be fighting, I'll be like, she can fit 10K. I mean, but, but let me tell you something. Bias, at the end of the day, don't get me wrong. She, Ivory is a fighter. Like mm -hmm. you said, you're not a fighter. So it comes to a point where they 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 like to see stuff and use you for it. Mm -hmm. You feel me? They only, uh, Ivory's only allowing what they want, allowing what they, allowing what she wants, basically. Mm -hmm. And what they want right now is her to fight. And that's why she's on these shows and you know, making her money, which she wants to do. Yeah. But as for you, you're not a fighter, right. so it'll be like, okay, I'm going to put you on the show if you got... And then it's like, at the end of the day, too, like, it was one situation when it was with Cash. She didn't want to stay there at all. Her eye was fucked up, all that type of shit. They was like, I'll pay you just to stay. I'll give you some more money, just fight. Right. You feel me? So it, it just it just depends how, you, how hard you want it and shit. Like, I'm telling you, everybody's different. You can make money by fighting. You can make money other ways. You see, Liddy has made this a platform, a big I know. ass thing I know. without yeah. just fighting. I guess she get on here and fight, but she can get on here and talk her shit mm -hmm. too. But you know, everybody just, like I said, different. But you gonna definitely get there. Like you already out there. Mean Girls is definitely a hit. And then it's like by South Central, Maddie's already being out, and this a new show. They gonna like they looking at that stuff because South Central Maddie's was just. Keep seasons, keep seasons. So this is a whole new look, a whole new type of thing. You know, he got going just like his other shit that going on Playboy. It's like it's different shit that you know people are actually looking into that they want to be on to next season type thing. Right. Right. 
So. No, I like you. I, a lot of people were telling me on production on the Mean Girls, it's like, Brie, you're going to try to pick with you because you're little and she's little. And, and that's she's the thing. They always, they always, one thing that TV will do is size us up. I don't, if anybody that has met me, Lydia has met me for, been knowing me for a long time. Anybody has met me, I'm cool as fuck. I like people like me because mm-hmm. it's like we can, you know, we can kind of, you can kind of get where I'm coming from when I be like, okay, people come for me for no reason. People doing this. People do that. They want to say I don't like you or won't like you because I don't like them. You know, speaking on their their behalf. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't like you because you did this. You was talking about me or you felt like you were going to beat me up type thing. Like you said, you a hothead. Me too. So it's like when it comes down to a point where a bitch going to tell me she going to hit me and she's like this big, I'm going to feel some type of way. Bitch, why are you trying to hit me? Right. Ain't no little bitch like me. Worrying about hitting, we just right. being cute and fatigued. Like, you know, so I don't know why they would say that, but what I do say is to girls that come on TV, don't let nobody tell you what the next person going to do or how they going to feel. You have to meet them before anything. Because I didn't meet, met a lot, seen a lot of people on TV and been like, damn, she actually cool. It's fun. Mm-hmm. Like, she's scary, but she cool. Like, you know. Not she's scary. Like, no, like, she looks scary. Like, like, oh. It be like that. Yeah, I have met a lot of people that I would not say nothing. And I will just be like, damn, like, they really cool. That's how I felt around Billy. Yeah. I didn't even talk about that. I ain't gonna lie, to like Billy, outside of shit. her getting into it with us, she kinda cool, but she is cool. I ain't been close to her enough to know. No, she so. turns up. Yeah. She gets down. Mm-mm. I, I didn't run, know that. And at I first. runs away. So Mm-mm. with her we That get... bitch took off her clothes. <laughs> what did they <laughs> Man. That bitch, she was like Ugh. She turned into the Hulk or some shit. Really? No. Mm-mm. No, she's fun. She's, yeah. a I got she's a, fun. She's I got a tranquilizer for that hoe. Yeah, Billy, a, but yeah, we can't. Billy, she ain't even a good example. Like, what was that? It was that movie. That she was is like, a great example. <laughs> no, because that's like, somebody bitch. that you meet and be scared of, and then when you really get to know, you really get to know them. You really get to know them. You could be like, we not scared of her. That's the thing. Nobody is scared of her. She's more of like a no. It's more like bitch. Your big ass is not about to grab. Yeah, me. like that's just what it is. Like I know what I'm seeing right now. I know what I am. So I just gotta figure out a way to protect myself. And I'm just not about to let your big ass just get me. That part. Like that's what it is. I gotta figure out a plan with you. Like everybody else is like, okay, whoop the whoop, run up. Bitch, we need a plan with you. No, you most up, definitely need a plan. Like, I mean, what would you do if, if you about to fight a bitch? And then she starts ripping off her clothes off the ground. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Okay. I got the fuck up out of there. Mm -hmm. I got in the quarter last season. I said, I don't know about nobody else. I don't care. Look, like just how Cash said, you could have texted me. At that situation, (laughs) don't call, don't do nothing. Just see you at home. You said you could have texted me. No, No, for real. real. No (laughs) shade. I like I like Monet, but I felt her. Like, bitch, you you see them after us. (laughs) Why is we about to come right there when it's it's more of them and less than us? Like and then Billy said, my name is Benny, and I ain't in No, that's Rehab. But Monet was more of, like, the person that she didn't want to be in it, but she still was going to be in it. But she still was going to be in it. Yeah, like, so it's like, she knew she didn't, she had no business going outside. But she thought Billy was going to protect her. That's what I thought. Yeah, like, like, she had too much faith. No, it wasn't even that. She had too much faith. She really did. No, it wasn't even just that. It was (laughs) more so Monet. She, like, because I had a conversation with her in the room. Mm -hmm. Because I'm like, man... I felt some type of way at first. I'm like, you should have hit that bitch. Like, they came in here. Right. You know? Oh, she was in there when they came in. When they came in the room. Okay. And But I understood where she was coming from. At first, I was upset. I'm like, man, I don't want to be in this room. I was upset, but I understood where she was coming from. Because just like they was coming in y'all room, being cool with y'all when the cameras was off and having conversations, right. they were being cool with her. Mm-hmm. So when the cameras cut on, that's another thing you have to watch no, for. That's yeah. what you do. When the cameras cut on... These girls, they change. I'm Me, like, I'm I ain't changing. Yeah, I'm going to say it on Are camera, you? off camera, all of that. Yeah. Like, I hate, one thing I I hate about um about TV, not even about TV, just about me being on reality TV, just me personally, is I hate looking at myself mad. Me too. No, I, for real. I hate looking at myself and mad because I look this, like a demon. I, that's why I don't, when I get mad, even on Instagram when I'm talking shit, I don't present myself like that. Like, I let everybody else get on Instagram, yell, do whatever. I'm going to be the calmest bitch and I'm going to get my point across because I just be trying to make it to where all that shit is, don't matter. Like, bitch, you can yell at my face and I still don't understand you. Like, it just be, I don't know. It just, it's like, it's more of a, you got to be there type of situation. But I'm going to just leave that for you because, you know, you're going to be on more shows and it's going to be more experience for you. Like, you got to you gotta really experience it than us just keep telling you because yeah. it's like, it's an experience thing for sure. 
season after season, bitch after bitches, production after production, cameraman after cameraman. Literally, everybody has got their parts. Know that. Everybody. Yeah, I remember when I first met you, the first time I met you, you was like, I be bringing in shit. <laughs> I be having this. I be having this. You was like, I'm gonna let you know when the camera come on, they gonna switch. Mind you, I'm hearing you, but I'm not really hearing you because I ain't never been through it. Right. I was trying to tell you. So I'm hearing you. I was you, trying to tell you, but I didn't know. So I'm telling Dre like she be bringing shit under her wig. Like what? Yeah, mm-hmm. it gets that. I'm telling you, it gets like, that. Like, I mean, you don't want to do this to the girls, but it's me. like, but I'm telling Dre like call Liddy. We call Liddy right now. We're Liddy. Because you gotta understand too. Uh, uh, it started off everybody in South Central, baby. Everybody mm-hmm. in South Central. Now it's people coming from state to state, mm-hmm. different, all type of different people. So it's like you got to know that everybody is coming from different parts and you're going to have to protect yourself. Even re- regardless of now that I see you sign a contract or whatever, something happened to you, that's on you because you didn't walk through this door and you knew what you was watching, you knew what you wanted to attend, you know, you knew all that regardless of the But fact. I feel like everybody from out of state is more scared of y'all. No, they not. No. Cause, yes, because no, y'all they from not. here. They not. If listen, if you hop we on a plane, we don't film out here. That's the thing. That's the crazy part. We, we film don't out film here, here, but we film two hours away. Like oh, from? the reunion was close though. No shade. No, when I they seen leaked it. it. Oh, I seen it. I seen it. I already peeped you, out. You, you had the low, right? Yeah. No, I didn't even have the low. I just seen the little parts. I said that's wrong. That's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. When the address was sent to me by an unknown source, when the address was sent to me. Mm-hmm. I said, ooh, y'all both. Yeah, like, I said, they, they're, they're here for sure. That's some city shit. Because the last reunion was downtown LA. Right. And I didn't even do too much on that one. I just had a few niggas pull up. You feel me? Just mm-hmm. in case. Because, you know, yeah, I do that. I don't I mean, if it's, if, if, <laughs> if it's I find city, out, they gonna you don't want everybody right yeah, here. Yeah, I'm right like, me, If somebody come to your street, yeah. you're going to be like, okay, yeah. Homegirls right here. Mm-hmm. This is about to come. Yeah, bring them out. Yeah, yeah, bring them out. Saturday, I got hella people going to Vegas. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, you're going to definitely want your people out. And then it's like, bitches come out here and feel like they cannot be touched. Like, this is the easiest. I feel like since, well, we live here, but this is probably the easiest city that you really could get caught at anywhere. Mm-hmm. Like, our shit is too local. Everywhere is close, I got like everywhere. 20 million cousins around this bitch. Literally. Somebody's going to let me know. Sometimes Facts. people be calling me like, hey, I seen such and such at the Slauson. You want me to get them? I be like, nah. Nah, literally. <laughs> I'd be, be like, like nah, yeah. it's cool. Oh, I'm going to catch him. It's cool. Just let him go. I don't want you on a tea page today. Yeah. No, seriously. Because you going to find it. Not even. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just like, it'd be like, because once you start some shit on Instagram, it's going to go all day mm-hmm. into the next day. Probably you wanted not to go the next day, but it's going to go the next day. And you just, you know, you just, it's certain shit that you just, sometimes you just be like, damn, it ain't even worth it no more. Fuck it. No shit. Because it's like, Bitch, I'll be in the comments. I ain't gonna lie. The comments be getting on my motherfucking nerves. Do it affect your mental a little bit sometimes? Um, no. I'm not gonna say it affects my mental. It just, it affects my anger. Like, it makes me, like, okay, bitch. I just, because this thing, I look at the page when they, it be certain shit that they say that you go to their page, and it's like, bitch, you said this? (laughs) Like, this is you? Like. Hey. So it just be so annoying that like, cause I'm not gonna argue. I'm gonna block you, but I be wanting to argue so bad and just tell them like, you know, bitch, you need to shut the fuck up trying to tell me anything or in the comments about me. But then it's like, you only going based off what you watching. And like, mm-hmm. since I can't be mad at some people that be editing shit mm-hmm. and showing them what they want to see, and then you know, that's that. So I just be leaving it. Like it don't it don't bother me. It's just like okay, bitch, just leave it. Fuck it. Another bitch just popping it. You know, then bitch. All I say is they don't live here. Right. That's it. They don't live here. Oh, what? No I've point. only caught one person one time in LA, like on the South Central Body page, and said something about me, and I got so mad. Mm-hmm. Oh God, I'm like, bitch, when you drop your baby, let me know. <laughs> Matter of fact, I seen her baby daddy, and I told him, I said, yeah, yeah. You know what's the You're funny part? I've been waiting, like not been waiting, but I just know. So I've been meeting all my fans, but I know it's gonna be one day somebody fan gonna want to see me and and do they shit. No, no, a they bitch not told me. To no, a bitch told me. On when I when I posted you guys today, you know the fans they talked to Liddy baby. Mm-hmm. She said, "Liddy, make sure you tell Bree I need that." <laughs> and I looked. <laughs> I I wanted to ask her so bad, like, "Why? What happened? Like, who are you?" But I just left they it just alone. They just be needing that. They want like, you. It don't matter what from who what. I, that's why I be like. No. I feel like they pop it on the net, but when they see you in person, they're going to be like, Yeah, they really, no, they really, no, I found 
wasn't it no, wasn't for real. She 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 knew, she didn't know I noticed her Instagram. I'm like, bitch, I seen you popping in on that bitch page. She said, No, I love you, Brie. I oh, said, God. Nope, I yeah. have a screenshot, bitch. Cause they be you so flip like flop. Yeah, and then she's like, on the other comment, she said, I don't like that bitch, Brie. <laughs> don't don't add her. Ask somebody else. I'm like, oh, you see you bitches be fake they, as hell. They switch on you. Yeah, they like, switch on yeah. you. How you mad at me and want me talking about you wanna run my face just because you done seen some shit you don't like because I done ran up on a bitch. You would have did the same thing. And that's why I don't like what they do, do either because it's like you, these bitches will never be on TV. And if they are, they'll probably do exactly what I did or worse. They won't be fan favorites. We'll just yeah. say that. Yeah, they Man, won't. But they it's won't just like you can't say nothing about what I do when, bitch, you be there, you going to want to do something too. I ain't going to so, lie. When it, well, I want to go back to the supporters. I don't, I don't like the word fan. Yes. So the supporters. Well, supporters. I'm sorry, not fan. When I do say my fans, I do mean supporters as well. It's just more of like you know. We so used to it. saying fan, but I've gotten out yeah, of it to it's where it's definitely supporters. supporters. For y'all. I love all my brats. No shade. The brats. That's what I want to talk about yes, now. The, the brats. Bree and the brats. Now you have. I like to compare your supporter base mm-hmm. like next to the barbs and when i mean the barbs i mean Nicki minaj's fan base okay they do not play right. about you yeah so how did you develop this community of loyal supporters okay well one is talking to them they always tell me like i love that you sit and talk to me like take the time because a lot of people get on instagram just when they get into it you know and they're not really engaging with them they don't really know and it's like with mine they have really been with me since i've been on tv Mm -hmm. so when i came back it was more of like okay now breeze back let me you know tune in and since i made basically i made a backup page and that's why it's where people have to pay because my other page my main page is more of like everybody there say whatever you know free space everybody else that page is more of like a supporter page you go on there i post whatever like Basically, it's my spam. You know, mm-hmm. everything you want to know, questions, when you comment on anything that I got to say, I'm going to talk mm-hmm. to you, think that you're not even just about me. If you got some things, they'll tell, like, it's more like some therapy type of thing. Not even more like just conversations. It's just like, okay, what, what I ate today, I'll post it. Okay, Bree, like, hey, like, and then since I've been having the baby and stuff, that whole page has been, they just really supporters. Like, they'll wake up, make sure I'm good. Them being mothers, they'll send me all type of stuff. Like, it's just all type of stuff. So that's why I have just built from talking to them, just them knowing that. And then also by me making a page that pay, you know, there's a lot of pages that go around and scam all the time. Mm-hmm. By me having, um, you know, I can't think of the word. They have um, access to you. Access to me and them knowing that I kept my word when I say you pay here, you're going to be in. You're going to be gonna in. You're going to stay in. You know, type thing. It's not like, oh, okay, you pay, and then I take you out in two weeks. You got to pay again. No, like, they have literally been here for months, six months, seven That's months. dope. That's so, yeah, dope. that's definitely why they're like, when they leave from the backup, they go on the main when I go live, and they be like, okay, nope, this is not it. Nope, this is because we seen this on here type thing, you know? So that's why I made it like that, because it'd be hard to try to tell people you can't ever win with Instagram, but you can win with your supporters. You mm-hmm. most definitely so, can. For sure. So, are we? Cause I'm a I'm a, I'm a brief supporter too. Okay, like cool. I'm a brat too. So <laughs> I'm trying to figure out like, are we gonna be able to like, like see and watch this this pregnancy with you? Yes. Like, how are you gonna document this? Are we gonna get like finally like a YouTube channel? Like, what, what's going on? Okay, so I do have a YouTube channel. Um, it's called Breezy T. Mm-hmm. Um, I have I do be posting it on my page, which is Miss Fine Ass. If nobody do follow it, y'all need to follow that. And I'm just going to be vlogging, like, all type of, you know, my pregnancy and stuff. Once I start getting bigger, like, I'm going to do more than one maternity, um, you know, shoot. Um, just all type of stuff to just, I, like, because, like I said, I always, you know, had to, did the stomach thing, did whatever. So now that I have the baby, I'm just going to go all out, like, if this is my one and done type thing. So have a, uh, you know, um, what is that? Water birth and mm. photo shoots. Ooh, yeah, so you plan stuff. on doing a water birth? Yes, I do. You do you do want that. a girl or a boy? I want a boy. You can't do that. Period. Because I'm tired of these little girls. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Like, I'm well, tired of these little girls. I know I can't do it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to just I got two just, kids. I tried to uh, go, a, go natural. I'm a, I'm a, I couldn't I'm do, do it. it. I'm going to do, do it. it. Just, I ain't going to lie. I met this older lady today, and it's crazy because it's like, since I've been pregnant, I've just been meeting people that will like talk about little stuff that's like weird. Like, But I met her. She was like, no epidural. Don't do it. She's like, don't do it. 
I'm old school, don't do it. And it's like it break like my by my parents being old school, it just makes me want to do everything like you by know? the book. Yeah, by yeah. the book type thing. Like my mom tried to get me to not get epidural <laughs> while I was in though, there. I got to a certain though. amount and I start tripping. I started trying to fight them. Like I yeah, cussed my mama and my it's baby daddy really out. Like, I was I listen, they gave me fentanyl when I was pregnant. Fentanyl? What the uh-huh. fuck they gave like you? Like the that medical for? fentanyl? Like like fentanyl is like Don't that kill people? No. No. Not not under the no, guise no, of the no, medical. Yeah, yeah in the medical oh, guys. But like they fentanyl. gave me that I didn't give a fuck. My mama cussed me out. I did not care. Dosed it up again. And that's what I'm <laughs> I really and I really do like my pain tolerance is very low. Like it do hurt, but it's like I don't know. I don't want to be cut either. Like I don't want to go through a situation. I had a natural. I me too. I don't want to do that. I don't, and then I, I don't know, like, like I said, it'd be weird, I'd be watching, I was watching TV, the girl, that's what, I'm like, okay, water birth, and this, this was making me, cause I, like I said, I already wanted it, then I'm like, nah, I'ma just do it the second time, then I'll go on TV, boom, this bitch taking a water birth, so I'm like, okay, <laughs> so I'm telling me that I need to, I need to do something. If so you wanna do like, a water birth, I time. suggest you do a water birth at a, at a hospital that supports water birth, oh, no, just in case, no, yeah, I, that shit hurt, like, and you need to get back on that bed to get that oh, epidural. Oh yeah, no, I was not mm-hmm. doing it at my house. Take yeah, it off the like tub. Yeah. I forgot the what's the name of it, but I've been searching it up so I can meet with the people to like when eventually when I prepare for it and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna do it that way, mm-hmm. not at home and no, definitely because I know I've been seeing videos like I've been really too thin with the pregnancy and stuff. Like just trying to make sure, like you know, I, first moms be trying to do it up. You don't need to do it up. You know, it's common sense right. and shit. So period. I'm just trying to. I'm happy for you, well, Bree. Yeah. It's really a baby having a baby. You got braces and everything. Yes, it's really a, <laughs> it's really a baby. A baby no, that's a, I'll be 21. What, my baby is due Halloween. That's the thing. So it's a Scorpio. Um, Ooh, so I'll, he going to be a crazy freak. baby. Michael Myers. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm definitely going to be 21 after I, I drop the baby. So I'm going to be, you know, turn real young and turn. But, well, we need all of that. We need the baby yeah, registry. Oh, yes. Supporters, charge, make yes. sure y'all tune in because I'm going to be sharing that. The baby registry. I'm, I'm going to make sure that I share your YouTube when you get it when you get it popping. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm in full you support of what be, you're doing. You know, into that. Yes, we're going to get all into that. Like, yeah, I'm definitely. excited. Now, I want to do something different. Asia, you're a mom. Mm-hmm. Can you give Bree some advice about motherhood? And I didn't even know that, like... I know. You make I'm me little. happy because you being a mom and you being back small and all yeah, that, that's I'm all I want. Ass back. Fast, yeah, like, small. you know, I just want to be a little thick, little Honestly, snack, okay, so I'm going to just give you a little insight. Um, I was stay at home mom for two years, for four years. Mm-hmm. Stay home mom for four years. So I have two kids. Um, My kids right now live with their dad. They don't live with me. Mm-hmm. I go and see them regularly. I love my kids, you know? But it was just so much of my mental, I, I couldn't. Being like, 16 to 20 having kids by myself and being at home right. and not having no friends and not being able to drive and not having a car and it was just too much just a lot, i didn't yeah. have no friends the kids was my friends couldn't do it so, so what would you like I, what advice would you give i her? would the advice i would give to you honestly would be just like make sure you got people around you it take a village it take a yeah. village you can't you can't do it by yourself you're gonna you're gonna go crazy and I ain't gonna lie, like, certain people I be around, it just don't be right. I be like, I need to go some, like, you fucking my shit up. And your like, baby gonna know, too. Your baby get around yeah. people, and they start crying, and they whine people, get away from that person. Quick. Yeah. And that's how I've been around, just, you know, people supporting and stuff. And like, the, like I said, like, I could wake up sad as fuck, but I'll go on my other page, and they'll be like, well, hey, Bree, how you doing today? How's the baby? Hey, hey. Like, mm-hmm. you know, just little stuff like that's that. That's what you so need. It just be like, okay, like, I help them, you know. They don't. They don't ask for much. They just be wanting to see me. So and they help me. So it just be. I feel like the village is my my mm-hmm. family. It's my supporters. You know, don't get me wrong. My family. Oh, that's I love so my cute. Brats. I, know. I love them. They the do brats me. is about to raise <laughs> Bree's baby. Okay, the brats are <laughs> raising this baby. Aunties, tts, and all that. They are raising Bree's baby. They're on internet right now. Like I'm your virtual tt. I'm gonna buy everything. Like they they go so crazy, and I'll be loving that for them. I ain't gonna lie. I love that for you. Because it's good that you have people that love you. Because it's a lot of people that don't like your little butt. Yeah, so it's definitely. I love that for it, you. You know it varies. It, this is how this shit go. Me being cute, being small. You know, you get far in life. You know, mm-hmm. you do. You say you so, get far. In life. You, you get you far do. in life. Yeah. It's a privilege. It's a lie out here. You know. So, you do. You do. No yeah. shade. No shade. And not just small people. Everybody get love. Don't get mm-hmm. me wrong. Everybody get love. But it's just like 
us, everybody always want to taunt us. Like you said, you coming, you the network is telling you that me being little, I just want to beat you up, but you or yeah. fight you, you know, whatever the case may be. And that's just like I was like, damn, I have to do my research. Like, who is Bree? Look, who is Bree? And why she want me? Yeah, like damn, I gotta yeah, like. But it was a situation that. They thought that I fought at the contract signing when I fought this girl just because I was like, you little and it's the how they edit it. Again, like I said, they'll edit you in the fucked up this way. The girl came and she basically was like felt the same way and they was basically sizing us up. They both asked, I'm clearing just clearing this up for there. They both, um, Isaiah and Barbie asked if we wanted to, you know, see where each other was at. By her being an audition and coming onto the show, of course, you know, they're trying to see where she at. So being messy, they asked her. Coming onto the camera, I I have to basically introduce it because I was an OG. Basically, like, okay, well, I want to fight you, so this, this, and then it it it, it went off like that. But right. like again, me saying that I love everybody that's I love everybody, but I definitely love people that's my size because I definitely can get to like you know no shade they did, they, they did that girl wrong and they did her wrong because she didn't even get casted. She didn't get casted. She yeah. thought she was casted, just, yeah, they and they just her. they just they just let Bree just tear her little butt up, <laughs> and then they didn't put her on the show. Why and and that, they just don't want me to be cool with nobody either, like nobody my side or nothing, because it's not that many people that come on the network. Like Jayla probably is the smallest one closer to me, mm-hmm. and I fought her so. Yeah, definitely don't don't let the TV shit or whatever tell you, oh, bitch, you're not going to like you or whatever. Let that bitch come and tell you, like, oh, bitch, I don't like you or take off on you or do what you got to do for sure. And I was just about to ask her to give you some advice, yes. and she gave it to you. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I'm going to give y'all both some advice. Please. And this is just, you know, some litty batty therapy advice. Yes. After you guys leave here today, I encourage both of you, get an agenda book, get a journal. Right. And start writing down your ideas. Start writing down your ideas. Start writing down your goals and stick to it. And stick to it. Stick to that and make sure whatever it is that you're going to do, it's going to generate something for both of y'all for those babies. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, we are mothers and we do this for our children. We can have fun. We can do the glitz and the glamour. But at the end of the day, new mommy, we do this for our children. Yes. So I just encourage you guys to do that. Come up with a plan. I am gonna hit y'all up and see if y'all did it. And oh, if y'all yeah. didn't, I'm blocking both of y'all. I'm gonna block y'all. I know I am. I'm gonna block y'all. Another thing I want to say is, don't let nobody scare you away. The, the first couple months, mm-hmm. the easiest. Don't let nobody. It's gonna be so hard. No, when they start getting a little older, crawling and shit. Oh, that's you know it's crazy because like I said, I got a god baby. I he was born on my birthday. I've been here since he was born. Um, so. I went through the whole thing, but like I said, it's not my baby. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I can't say I went through the whole thing because it wasn't. I just was, you know, taking care of them whenever I seen it. And I'm like, okay, the the little stages, the only thing was the sleeping part for me. I'm like, okay, that's cool, whatever, you know, to sleep. You got to sleep with them, whatever, whatever. But you adapt really quick. Mm-hmm. But once I did see them start walking and all that, I'm like, yeah. I, I wanted them to, because the thing is, I wanted him to get to the part to walk in, because I'm like, maybe it'll get better. Mm-hmm, no. Nah, babe. Got worse. Yeah. And then, and then when they start talking. Nah, yeah. It's and, a wrap. And he barely can talk, so he talking, it's like, nah. One of my daughter's sh- first words <laughs> was mine. Really? Yes. Yeah. Mine. And I'm like, what no. the fuck? My no, daughter had no, a no, no phase no. for like two months. Everything no. was no. Mm-hmm. Even if you hungry, yeah, no. No. You want a snack? No. no. Like, <laughs> everything, no. I swear to God. I'm like, that yeah, is so I can't cute. deal with that. That is so cute. But I love kids. Again, I love everybody kids. Kids, 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 you know. So, kudos to everybody that got kids. Kudos to the kids that's watching me. I definitely love y'all. And y'all definitely can get on TV, too. Y'all just don't think y'all got to do TV, a fight to get on TV. I mm-hmm. want to say that. Because you don't. Don't look for always South Central baddies. Let me say that. You don't have you don't to have fight. You don't have to do that. So you don't have to fight. That's what I do want to say to them. Because I know they like, damn, I got to, you know, they be seeing all these videos and like, damn, did I do this? I swear to God, it's this, this little girl, she be like, I'm about to fight today just so I can get on it. I'm like, girl, mm-hmm. don't fight. Like, you don't got to fight. Like, it's not, you know, but people really go viral off the negative shit. Like, no, they, they really do. Because I was on, like, TikTok today, I'm, and it's like this little thing with the kids going, you cussing the bathroom and stuff like that. But then this other girl was seeing her ABCs and stuff, and she only had 200. But the bad one... When she was cussing, she went viral. Listen, you know? so many with this big lady, big lady. If you want this fade, come and get it. I get about a hundred fight videos <laughs> I love a day. That though. <laughs> I get about a hundred fight that videos one's a day. Viral, though. Yeah, it, it is. is. But... I see it's a kid on assembly. 
fighting the assembly. Song? No, they was doing at the assembly, the dance, yeah, the assembly yeah. line what? at the school, at the cafeteria and shit. I think that was King too. Shout out to Gompers Middle School. They did some, they did some cute little stuff. Um, they they big lady, big lady, and they've been harassing me about coming to their school. You if the to. administrative do not hit me up, I think I'm gonna go out there. Cuddy, we're gonna go out there with a speaker in a truck. And we gonna, I'm just gonna be in the middle of the street. Forget it. Like if these schools don't call me back, I'm in the street with it. But thank you guys thank for you. attending. This is the first episode. A baddie therapy. <laughs> you feel me? Thank you, Asia. Thank my you, Bree. My feet feet together. Do y'all feel done. relaxed? Was I this do. therapy? I love the champagne. Yes. I like that I'm loose. You know, you're very easy to talk to. Thank you. And I like the yeah. vibe. Like That's that. one thing I will say out of everybody. Yes. You're going to love Lily. That's why we like cream. We hang out. Nobody even know. We hang out. Nobody know. I'll be hanging out with Bree. Like, <laughs> that's what we literally do. Just because it's like, is, we can like really get to I don't watch Nada's TV. So people from watching y'all, mm -hmm. they're mean. You gonna meet them? They mm -mm. they gonna they gonna yeah. do this. That's how I thought about Ivory too. Like you gonna meet her? She gonna do this? She gonna da, da, da. I, normal okay. people? Y'all hella sweet. Yeah, regular people. Yeah, it's just like TV. TV bring out a certain side of you, especially. And then no, it's just if you want this fade, come and get it. Yeah, like that's what it is. Basically. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sandals. Period. Basically. Well, you guys, thank you again for tuning in to Batty Therapy here on the Liddy Show. Next week, we back at it again. I got two new special guests, and y'all, y'all already thank know. Y'all you. You already know. Like, subscribe, and tune in. And shout out, shout out to Emerald City in LA. We here. Shout out Emerald City. Why? No bars. <laughs>